Hey, welcome back everyone. Today I'm talking about Western games, you know, cowboys with their gunslingers and their six shooters and their horses. The game that I want to focus on mainly today is a little game called Gun, and this is my all-time favorite open world Western themed sandbox type game. And now I know all the Red Dead Redemption fans out there are going to be like, there's no way it's better than Red Dead. But I assure you it is, and I want to tell you why today, as well as go into detail about just why I love this game so much. Uh, it's one I grew up with. I played it back when it first came out on the PS2. Also, a little bonus for you guys, if you can make it to the end of this video without skipping around, hopefully. Uh, but uh, if you make it to the end, I'm also going to give you guys some Easter eggs uh, that I've discovered from Gun. So stay tuned for that. But first, let's get into Gun vs. the Red Dead series. Now, I want to say Red Dead Redemption 2, I'm not going to be comparing to Gun today because there's a huge generational gap. It came out on the PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, so there's a huge age gap between Red Dead 2 and Gun. Uh, obviously, Red Dead 2 is going to blow Gun out of the water in almost every aspect as far as graphics go, how, how big it is, everything else. So, yeah, I don't think it's really a fair match to uh, compare it to Gun. So I got kind of a funny story for you guys. Uh, by funny, I mean I'm kind of an idiot because I didn't realize I already owned the first Red Dead Redemption for the PS3. So going back and playing these games again, all these westerns, uh, I went online and ordered a copy of Red Dead Redemption for the Xbox 360 because I didn't realize I already owned it for the PS3. I don't know how I didn't know I didn't already have the game. But anyways, <laughs> I'm kind of glad I made this choice though of getting this because I prefer 360 over PS3 anyways. So if I'm going to choose one, I'm going to go with the 360. Plus, I got the Game of the Year edition, which the PS3 version I have is just the regular game. So this one comes with the Undead Nightmare, which I will say is a lot of fun. Uh, it's basically the solo campaign, but with zombies instead. So yeah, I, I want to get this out right now and just let you guys know. I am a fan of this game. I love Red Dead Redemption. I have nothing bad to say about it. I just want to tell you why I like Gun more uh, and why it's my favorite Western. So let's uh, take a look here at... Red Dead Revolver. Now this is a game that even most Red Dead fans probably haven't played. Um, and a lot of you, I'm sure, have not heard of this game. Uh, this is the first game that came out before Red Dead Redemption. This one I, I, is definitely not as good as Gun. And I'm going to tell you why. Now I think it's probably the most fair to compare this one to Gun to do that versus battle because... Uh, well, Red Dead Revolver came out in 2004, Gun came out in 2005, so that age, uh, that you know, they're around the same age. And even though Gun was released on the 360, I have the 360 version, it was actually originally on PS2 and Xbox, original Xbox. So it's even it even started on the same console that Red Dead Revolver's on. Now, even though Gun and Red Dead Redemption are both on the same console, uh, Really, Gun is a generation behind, you know. It, it was only re-released for the Xbox 360 uh, as a launch title. It plays the same as it did on the previous consoles. It might have a slight graphical enhancement if you're playing on 360, but otherwise, there's really no difference in the gameplay. Whereas Red Dead Redemption was designed for Xbox 360 and PS3. So, you know, obviously the game does have better graphics. Uh, the open world map, it's a lot bigger. The story's bigger. There's probably more side missions and stuff like that. But for the time that this game came out, it's amazing how well they did. Now, Red Dead Revolver, I was really disappointed with because I was expecting an open world game because I'd, I'd never played this one before. I didn't grow up with this one like I did with Gun. So since it's you know, in the Red Dead Redemption series, I figured it would play similar to Red Dead Redemption, you know, be in, like an open world Western. But no, it's uh, it's not open world at all. 
And you could argue, yeah, but this came out in 2004. There's no excuse because this was made by Rockstar, who also made previously before this, made Grand Theft Auto Vice City and Grand Theft Auto 3. And those are open world games and they're, they're way older than this is. Uh, plus not to mention by the time this game came out they were already uh, working on San Andres so there's no excuse for Red Dead Revolver. Red Dead Revolver is kind of a weird game it, it's more of like an arcade style the levels are very short and uh, in between levels you can upgrade your gun and stuff but it's just like a quick little you know shoot these 10 bad guys and then it goes on to the next level and the levels themselves aren't very big. There's not a whole lot of room to move around and stuff. There are some cool things about it. I like some of the levels are a little bit different. You know, you can ride the trains and stuff like that. Uh, I do like the dead aim that they have, which is similar to the quick draw uh, from Gun, actually. And basically, it's like a slow-mo where you pull out your six-shooter and uh, you have to try to line up your shots and... So yeah, it's a decent game, but overall, Gun is way better than Red Dead Revolver. Uh, I mean, like I said, Gun came out only a year later, and is this big open world. It's technically like the first true open world Western game ever made. Alright, now let's jump forward a little bit and talk about Red Dead Redemption. Now this, I think, is the closest, probably plays the closest to Gun. Uh, out of any of the others. Like I said, I love Red Dead Redemption. I think it's a great game. But there are some things that make Gun honestly the better game. Okay, now I did grow up with Gun. So there is uh, that personal connection that I have with the game. You know, I played it back when it first came out on PS2. But even aside from that, I honestly think it's the better game. Now, again, like I said, uh, Red Dead Redemption has a bigger open world map. It's better graphically and all that. But I think that Red Dead Redemption is better if you're just wanting to mess around. GTA, it, the stories are fun and stuff, but most of the time people play, you know, you just want to mess around, drive around and blow shit up and yeah. So, I think that Red Dead Redemption is kind of similar. I think it's better than Gun when it comes to messing around and stuff. But the overall gameplay and story mode, I think, is actually better in Gun. Speaking of which, I should probably get into the story a little bit of Gun for you guys. So, what is the story? Well, you play as this cowboy named Colton White who hunts with his father, Ned. Basically, for a living, you guys hunt and sell your game to the steamboats. So they sell their meat to the steamboat one day and it gets under attack and then you find out that Ned isn't really your father, uh, kind of like Star Wars or something, and then he ends up dying, but before he dies he tells you to go pay a visit to this girl named Jenny in Dodge City. So you go to Dodge City to basically try to avenge your father's death and then you find out that you're actually an Indian and Ned just had to take over as your father pretty much as a punishment for working with the bad guys that killed your parents, your real parents. Also on the steamboat is a treasure chest that has this cross which you use the cross to line up in a specific spot to find this utopia gold mine that's buried in the mountains and these guys are after it and they also are the same guys that are responsible for your father's death so you go and yeah it's <laughs> there's a lot to it and that's the main thing that i love about playing the game is the story you know i mean it's fun for the messing around and stuff too but overall it's just it's got such a good story i think that the weapons and stuff are better than in red dead redemption you have bows rifles your six shooter you have uh, shotguns, sniper rifles, and throughout the story you unlock better weapons and you can also stop at these shops and you can upgrade them. 
You can mine for gold, which is pretty cool. It gives you kind of something else to do in the game. Also, riding your horse, I think, is better than in Red Dead Redemption. In Red Dead Redemption, it feels stiff. It feels like you're riding in a tank or something. Uh, I don't know if it was because they were trying to capture the realism of riding a horse, but it didn't turn out very well. It's very smooth and fluent in Gun when you're riding a horse. Gun does have a lot of side missions and stuff, uh, but they're more requirements, I would say, if you're playing on a harder difficulty setting, which we will get into some of the cons. Obviously, Gun isn't a perfect game. I played on the hard difficulty setting. There's four settings. You have like easy, normal, hard, and insane. Now, I didn't even play on insane, and this game is still way too hard on the hard difficulty setting. I think that some of the game is a little unbalanced as far as the difficulty goes. Some areas are harder than others. Also throughout all that, the game suggests that you do side missions to upgrade your character's stats, which is another really cool thing about the game. You can upgrade your stats and make your character stronger. Yeah, do, doing those side missions is kind of crucial if you're playing the game on a higher difficulty setting. Otherwise, it feels like they did not test this game whatsoever when it comes to the difficulty. I mean, it's so cheap at times. Flush him out, Rainbow! I'll cover you from behind! Caballeros! One of my biggest pet peeves with the game is drinking your whiskey. Now you drink whiskey to uh, heal yourself. That That's basically your, your Mario mushroom <laughs> is your uh, whiskey. Uh, but you press up on the D-pad and I think that's the worst spot to have, uh, that's the worst button uh, to be drinking your whiskey from because it's like if you're in the middle of combat, you have to take your thumb off the analog stick uh, so which means you stop moving. So if you're under attack and you're trying to drink from your whiskey, you stop in your tracks to go for the D-pad, the up button on the D-pad, you know, and you're either gonna do one of two things. You're gonna die before you even hit the button because you stopped in your tracks and you're under attack, or you're gonna drink the whiskey, but then you're under attack, so you're gonna lose all that health anyway, and then you just have to constantly keep drinking your whiskey and hope that you can get out of the way and find some cover. There's a lot of parts in the game where it's like, there's no way I can get past this, or there's they did not put enough whiskey in this area. And some of the bosses are just ridiculous on the higher difficulty setting. So there you go, I don't think Gun is a perfect game, but it is a lot better in many ways, uh, better than Red Dead Redemption. And plus you gotta look at when this game came out, I mean it came out in 2005. This game looks beautiful, plays beautiful, it has a lot to it for an open world game that was made in 2005. I mean the graphics aren't anything special, but that's to be expected for its age. Uh, but they're good enough, I guess. And overall, I think that Gun is definitely the best representation of a Western, like at its height. So Gun was made by Activision and Neversoft, uh, two great companies in my opinion. Activision published it, Neversoft developed it. It seemed like they always worked together whenever uh, Neversoft developed the game. Uh, I don't know what all they did, but I know they did uh, the Tony Hawk games as well as the original Spider-Man for the PS1, which is my all-time favorite Spider-Man game as well. Also, Tony Hawk's Underground is my all-time favorite skateboarding game, which is also Neversoft in Activision. So anyways, just a little bit of a recap for you guys. Yes, Red Dead Redemption does have the better graphics. It's a bigger game, more open world. Uh, but I think that gun is better as far as being a true Western. It feels more like a Western. I think the story is better. I think that uh, a lot of the weapons are better. Stats, upgrades, and all that stuff that you can get. Riding your horse is better. I think that the overall gameplay is just better. 
uh, like when you're attacking and stuff like that. All right, now let's get to the Easter eggs of Gun. This will be a lot of fun. Some Easter eggs that I discovered. First one I have for you guys, if you go on this big open field, you'll find this old abandoned burnt down looking building, this house. Anyways, so if you go to this house, there's this, there's this mine next to it. If you go in there, you can grab some uh, some dynamite. Now, if you leave and go back to the house, there's a specific spot that you stand in the corner, and if you blow it up, uh, you have unlimited ammo buried underground. And then the second Easter egg I have for you guys is if you beat the game, once you beat the game, if you travel all the way back to where you started the game, it's kind of hard to do, but you have to be on your horse and jump up the uh, the rocks, basically where you first started the game. And you can get up there, it is possible. Uh, it might take a little while, might take a few tries, but if you can get up there and then travel all the way back, literally to where you started the game, there's these two rocks in the water and remember what I said like every little thing in the game has some sort of purpose eventually well you wouldn't guess that these two rocks in the water have a purpose that you see at the very beginning of the game well they do so if you go back there at the end of the game after beating the game uh, you uh, stand there and you press a combination of buttons I can't remember exactly what it was I think it was like uh, L1, L2, R1, R2, or whatever, and then you hold A. So you'll get this really weird sound, and then if you open up the menu uh, and go into your options or whatever I believe it was, and then there's a new section in there that wasn't there before called Gun, and here you can uh, replay any mission in the game that you want uh, at any time, and it's got all the cutscenes. So yeah, it's really cool. Just something I wanted to kind of point out and show you guys um, if you've ever played this game or if you plan on checking it out, which I think you should, better late than never. Uh, it's a really good Western game. Like I said, better than Red Dead. Fight me on it. <laughs> In all seriousness, let me know what you guys think of Gun. Did you ever play this game? What did you think of it? And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. If you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel for more content, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.